Hey guys, Steph Muffin Sauce here and welcome back to my channel. So I've been rather busy with my Christmas order recently and we had a 12-12 um, sale. So I've been busy with that so I didn't have time to do any film any video. So this is actually a commission work that I did a couple of months ago and it's actually painting on leather bag. Okay, the bag isn't made of leather, it's a canvas tote bag but there's a leather piece uh, in the middle for me to paint. So my client actually passed it to me and said that she wanted to commission a Jiangsi Corgi on it. Jiangsi is a Chinese zombie, Chinese zombie vampire under the Chinese folklore. So you can read up on it if you're not familiar with it. And they actually suck out the life essence from the human. So they don't suck blood, they suck up the life essence. <laughs> so I guess it's not really like a vampire. But the thing is they hop. So they don't they don't fly, they hop like um bunny, they do bunny hop, so they are pretty funny. So actually my idea for this um video right was to add a music and and then just edit the time lapse and that's it. But I realized that I spent way more time finding a proper music to go in my video than editing the video so I decided why don't I just talk so yeah you guys have to bear with me talking for the next 8 minutes <laughs> I, I don't know so let's just talk about this artwork so uh, because I can't do a pencil sketch on leather I have to sketch out on the on the leather with uh, black paint and the paint that I'm using is Angelus leather paint so it's a uh, acrylic paint specially made for leather good so they are mostly used for leather shoes and i'm using it for leather bags and they, are, they don't come cheap and they are made in the u.s so they are imported from uh, amazon no no i didn't buy from amazon i bought it from the directly from the angelus website and got it imported to singapore so if you want to try it you can just check out the website and the link will be in the description so they are oh yeah as i was saying I couldn't sketch a pencil so I have to sketch it with a very fine tip brush in their black paint and I made sure that it's not a very thick paint a thick layer too because I'll be covering it and I and because the corgi has a bit of white so I'll layer with white first and I find it um, I find the color nicer after I layer with white then layer with um, the orange if I lay orange um, straight away, like, I have to put a few layers of orange to cover the base. So I find that it looks brighter with a white base. Just like how you do a silk screen. It's like the same theory. And I use a hair dryer to speed up the process, the drying process. If not, I have to wait very long for the paint to dry. And and I got no idea what to say. <laughs> I actually bought so many of this paint, but I have plans to do like leather passport holder and leather keychain, but I just don't have the time to do so, and it's very time consuming. So, commission wise, I feel that I'm um, doing commission on paper, watercolor on paper, or marker on paper is. Uh, it's more worth it, I guess. Is that what you call it? More, it's more worth it and faster compared to doing leather because I can spend a whole day just doing leather. This video is uh, a timeless, so it's speed up. So you, <laughs> you can't tell how long I took. I actually took like a... I'm pretty sure I took about four to five hours on this piece. It's really, really long. And for the price, it's really not worth the time. I feel that maybe I should one day create a video about how to price your commissions and how to get commission works so what do you think guys uh, just leave a just leave me a comment in the comment section below if you would like to know more about getting commission work and how to price your commission work so i think that would be a, a very nice information right oh and um i got like my I got like, a new camera today. I've been filming on my iPhone all this while. It's not a bad thing. The iPhone is great. It works fine. But the annoying part that um, I couldn't take was I can't use my phone while I am 
filming <laughs> sometimes you know you want to look for reference and you and I couldn't do it I have to use my iPad and iPad is like so giant and sometimes you know like if I'm painting something I use the iPad for reference at the same time so I'm actually curious to see how it would turn out like um, I, I got a Canon M50 after much um, contemplation and thinking whether I should get a Canon camera or should I get a DJI Osmos for vlog and I finally settled with the Canon M50 because I realized that most of my viewers you guys prefer to see how-to videos and tutorials instead of vlogs right am I right about that let me know please I mean your feedback is really appreciated and it will help me improve so I thought the Canon would be a better choice since I'll be filming more at home and I don't think the DJI Osmos is suitable for filming like shots such as these when I'm painting so I'm not intending to do any unboxing for the camera but I hope that I will do a review of it um, as an artist's point of view in future after I use it a couple of times and I'm very keen to try it. I just got it in the mail today. So I'm done with most of the dog's color already and now I'm just adding the pink for the tongue. And can you believe I actually bought so many colors? <laughs> I could have just get a white and, and red and then mix it uh, to get the pink but no, I decided to get a separate pink bottle. I have more colors than this and no, I did not get a set. I just got colors that I know I would use like a lot, like most of the time that I don't need to mix. And I didn't get uh, fancy colors like green. I don't really have much green. I think I only had one green, but there were so many shades of green. Just if you're starting out, just get the colors that you know you would use the most. And oh yeah, if you can hear footsteps now, it's Bunny. He just came into the room to lie down beside me. <laughs> So after the tongue is done, I will do the last step. Okay, not exactly the last step, the second last step where I will outline my artwork. So when it comes to painting leather, right, the line work goes on last. Yeah. So I had one base line and then this is the actual line work. So as you can see, when I cover the paint, it can't be seen anymore. The, the line work that I did at the start which is like a replacement for pencil lines. Then I ran out of things to say to you guys. So maybe I'll add some awkward mute music here. It's Christmas soon, so listen to some Christmas music, okay? It will do you some good and bring about this joyous occasion. <laughs> or maybe not. So how do you enjoy the music? <laughs> Not bad, right? I believe I played that in another video before. So okay, I thought this was the last step, but apparently not. Um, my client actually made a request to put her friend's name, Lin, on the talisman. Is that how you call it? Of the Jiang Si. So um, instead of the word blood or some Chinese word, I had we had her name painted on it. 
So I, I think the dog is after her blood. <laughs> and yeah, that's... And for the final step, I will apply an acrylic finisher for the leather. It, this will protect the paint from cracking, I believe. And it's waterproof too. Well, it didn't say it's waterproof, but I tried. It's waterproof. <laughs> Maybe the weather is, leather is waterproof on its own. So it's acrylic once it dries and hardens. So this is the finished product. And I hope you enjoy this video and me ranting away. And... Leave me a comment and what do you think and what you hope to see. I need to do this engagement thing, right? So thank you and please subscribe and click the bell button for more. Bye!